today we are going to build a Chicky Chick playground for these cute little guys. Okay, well, for my Chicky Chick playground, I want to give the chicks a perch and I want to make them a swing. Now, there, I have some inspiration for the swing. Um, my friend Carol sent me a short little video of these chicks that had a, like an actual swing. And, you know, not to be outdone, I can't let somebody else's chicks have all the fun and have ours have a boring existence, because that's no good. <laughs> Bugs. I would like to use a natural branch for uh, their perch. And the reason is, if you use something like a dowel, which I have several dowels, um, it's not as good for their feet, because the dowel is a consistent um, size and shape. Which means, and, and we've actually seen at the animal hospital, parrots that have been in a tiny little cage and they only have this one perch and their hands are kind of like stuck in this position, you know? And, you know, we would suggest them to, to get something more natural for them to hold on to as a perch because, you know, some parts are gonna be thinner, some are going to be fatter. It's just going to be better for their growing feet their little growing chicken feet to have something that's natural and there's a couple of different ways to hold it. They will just be better strength-wise as far as their feet and they'll be more nimble too. So I, I don't know, in an ideal world we would find something that um, either I could easily build like a, a little stand to raise it off but they're really little so even if it was just something that could just rest on the floor that might be a good solution as well. This right here might be a good candidate because the way that it's shaped, it might be, let me just see. Yeah, see, that, that might be perfect. Um, this will make a good perch. Maybe when they're older, I'll make something to raise it up off the ground. But for now, I could put it on the ground and because it's curved, some of it will be higher than others. It'll be very stable and look how many different um, sizes. I mean, it's like really fat here and then it's a lot thinner over here. Um, and there's a lot of room for a lot of different chicks to perch in a lot of different places. So we're going to use this one. I'm going to put that one aside. And now for their swing. Now, I will, <laughs> I'll put a little screenshot of the chick on his swing because it's really, really cute. I'm going to bring them both. And if worse comes to worse, I'll make them two swings. I think I'm going to leave the perch exactly how it is because when I put it down, it, it, it's perfect. I really don't need to do anything to it. At least right now while the chicks are small, leaving it just how it is is going to be the kindest thing for them to acclimate to using a perch. Um, but for the swings, um, I am going to have to um, cut them and I'm just, I've never made a swing before. I'm just going to guess and see how it comes out. Anyway. Here we go. Now that my swings are cut, I'm going to drill some holes so that I can hang them with some string. And I chose a drill bit that appears to me as though it would be big enough for me to pass this string through one side, but small enough that if I were to put a knot underneath it, that it wouldn't pull through. Okay, this little white thingy, um, it's what I rest their light on, so it needs to be in their enclosure anyway. And they spend a lot of time running around underneath it and everything, so I figured rather than building something else that would take up space in their enclosure to hold up the swings, I figured I would just use this because it's already in there and put the swings on either side of it. And then they can still use underneath it, right? And there'll be plenty of room for the other perch. 
Okay, so they're pretty terrified. And look at what is terrifying them. Oh my goodness. Now, the last litter of chicks I brooded, or flock, rather, last herd of birds, um, we had one chick who's one of the big white ones out there, um, Feather, and she was the smallest chick, and whenever I gave them something new, like a perch, even though she was the littlest one, she was the bravest, and she would run over, and she would do like a reconnaissance mission, and she'd peck it, and then she'd run back to her sisters, as if to say, you know, like, it's okay, I pecked it, I killed it for you. So, they're pretty terrified. Maybe if I just, like, get out of here and let them look at it, maybe when I come back they'll be either perching on it or playing on it, and I would definitely love to show you that. <laughs>